The court leadership took the advantage of registering as voters while on their tour around Nyanza region. The three court principals led by Raila Odinga also used the occasion to call on Kenyans to come out and use the 30-day window period that kicked off today to register as voters. Raila however advised calling on members of parliament to increase IBC's funding to enable it to conduct comprehensive voter registration. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to Kenyans all over the country to use the opportunity to register. The exercise is supposed to be going on for 30 days. We as court have asked that it should be extended for 60 days this uh, particular time. Mwenye kitambulisho ambaye hanakura wakati ni sasa ili wajiandae kwa uchaguzi ujao. Kwa hivyo swala hili ni la umuhimu lenye umuhimu mkubwa sana. Please go to the registration centers the visible constraints notwithstanding and register to be ready to exercise your right to elect a government of your choice come next elections. The coalition is attributing its loss in 2013 presidential election to among other things failure to mobilize their strongholds to register as voters, a grave mistake they say they are ready to remedy. Their fear to this cause, though, is what they term as unfair distribution of biometric voter registration kits. We've looked at the way they are distributing the, the, the BVR kits, and it's very skewed in favor of some certain regions. We want to see fairness in the distribution of the BVR kits. Na huku tukijua kwamba kuingineko kama Kilifi County, Mombasa County, ambapo kunao wanaotarajua kujiandikisha wengi zaidi lakini wanapata kwamba viva hivi vya IBC uh, BVR kits uh, vimepeanwa kwa uchache elsewhere the Boresha Katiba initiative which seeks to have a referendum held on the election date has prepared its constitution amendment bill to be tabled in parliament the initiative sponsored by a section of jubilee MPs seeks to amend the constitution through a referendum in order to abolish the two-third gender rule in the electoral processes. Uh, the provision for uh, some affirmative act action, reduction from 20 years to 10, meaning that uh, by 2022, after the 27 elections we are seeing, then beyond 2022, that matter should be subject to competition so that we the, the, the slots are abolished completely. So you're giving a, a widow of uh, five years. The MPs also want to cap the county allocation to 46% of national revenue as well as introduce constituency and one development funds. <music> Meanwhile, Malindi by-election campaigns continue to gather momentum with seven candidates seeking votes ahead of March 7th by-election. <laughs> Ukiwa wewe you are a perpetual beggar ni lazima wewe utafatilia kule serikali inakotaka uende. Mimi kitu cha muhimu ambacho nataka niwasistize watu wa Malindi ndugu zangu. Sisi ni watu wa msimamo. Tumekuwa kwa na msimamo na hapa naona msimamo. Masteda oe. Masteda oe. Kevin Washira Channel 1 News.